Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Chicago White Sox. John Shambi and Chris Singleton on the call. Pretty decent win streak on the line in this one, Chris. This team has been doing all the little things right now. Being able to hit in situations and hit with runners in scoring position. When you look over the course of a long season, if you're going to be successful, it's doing the little things right. Just about set. And today's starting pitcher, Michael Kopech. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Righty delivers. And a big swing and a miss. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Gonna have to regroup here. Curve. Hit right back to him. On to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. Two outs, base is empty. Manny Machado, the next up for the Padres. Machado. Next pitch is popped up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Andrew Benintendi steps up. The pitch. He was late there, strike oh, one. Man. When you look at Benintendi, think about this. He played in the same oh, conference man. as both Alex Bregman and Dansby Swanson. Those two guys picked ahead of him in the first round. But it was Benintendi who was the SEC Player of the Year, the year they all got drafted. Yeah, uh, the organization clearly saw something special in this kid as a prospect, and it's paid off nicely. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Jonathan Indy at the plate. Oh, well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. Soto gets under it and makes the grab. Out number two. Aloy Jimenez in the box now. No balls and a strike. On the ground, right side. Throw over to Cronenworth. And that is the third out of the Top of the second. Juan Soto now. Kopech back to work. Pitch misses. Ball one. Foul ball there. The pitch. And a count one and two. Here comes a pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Robert puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Next for the Padres, Nelson Cruz. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. Smoked on the ground a second. Gathers and throws to first. And that quickly, two away. Now it's Matt Carpenter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. 1-1 one, one now. That one ran inside, almost got him. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone.
Matt Carpenter leaves the yard. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bad was very patient and it paid off base is empty with two away now it's Trent Grisham to the plate up the middle Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to hold on to it. He's in safely, and now there's a runner at first. So two down. Here's the second baseman. Hassan Kim. Kopech checks over to first, and he's back. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout. His 14th of the year. It's 3-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. And now it's Austin Nola, ninth in the NL in hitting, entering play. In the air out to center, Robert moves under it. He's there. He's got it. And that's the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here on the south side, Luis Robert now. Right down to shoot. It's 0-1. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Cronenworth steps on the bag. That's one out at the bottom of the second. The Andrew base. Vaughn now. Andrew. Vaughn. Stops it on a slide to first. And that's a great play for the out. So two down now. And here is Jesus Sanchez. That one's in there on one. Darvish, who's played for the Rangers, Dodgers, Cubs, and Padres. But he's been an all-star in both leagues, Siggy. An all-star and a fan favorite. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a Welcome back. Here's Xander Bogarts. Kopech back to work. That one hit to right. Sanchez makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. And first offering is fouled off. Jake Cronenworth, the Michigan kid, he played at the University of Michigan. Rays took him in the 15 draft in the seventh round. Grew playing. Can't field it cleanly. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Manny Machado up to the plate. Major anticipation every time he steps in. One hit shy of breaking the single season hits record. In time to Vaughn. Machado out of the play. Now the youngster wants Soto. And that one in the air center field. Robert moves under it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. One left for Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. In for a strike. And it's 0-1. Chris, you Darvish debuted with the Rangers back in 2012. It's been a pretty successful big league career. He's been an all-star multiple times and a guy with all those pitches. He gives Pitchcom 
a run for its money I think you'd say so up next for Chicago Jax Groshans there's the strike yeah I remember when he came into the league and talking about seven eight pitches that this guy had and wow you're just scratching your head if you're a hitter what do you look for Right-hander kicks deals, three. sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now batting Eric Gonzalez. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Two outs. Foul ball still 0-2. Here's the 0-2. Struck him out looking. One, two. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Got him to chase oh, one boy. above the zone there. You know, these Padres doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Now that's smack to right center. And that gets down into the gap. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Out there to center, Robert moves under it. And he makes the catch. One away. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres, reached on an infield single his first time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. These guys have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And it's a ball and a strike as the runner holds. Next pitch has popped up. Gonzalez settles underneath it. Makes the grab. Two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Cruz leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Oh, and two now. Slowly on the ground to short. On the run, sends it over to first. Out number three. The right hander back to work. That's hard hit on the line. And Benintendi is out. And there's one down. And next to hit for the Sox, Jonathan India. And first offering is fouled off. The White Sox hitless so far in the game. Next pitch is outside. Swings through that one for strike two. Line drive, base hit. Man at first with one gone. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Late swing fouled off. And he'll one. Gets him to chase after that one. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Cruz hauls it in. And there's two away. And now it's Luis Robert. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. 
fouled off. He was late. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here on the south side, and the batter now, Austin Nola. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Padres doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They have yet to strike out, and they're averaging more than a hit per inning. That's a great recipe for success right there. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Xander Bogarts. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Left field. Benintendi is there. Hauls it in for the out. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, the right hander deals. Late swing, foul to the left. Nola stands at first with one out. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to Gonzalez, one. What a double play that was. Inning over. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. On the ground right side. And it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fifth. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Next one misses, and yeah, the count one and two. Just missed. It's a good take. Has some trouble with it. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. One away with a runner at third. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the righty deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, he's showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. Next pitch is outside. Got him. That ends the frame. So a man left for the White Sox. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the sixth. Now the third baseman, Manny Machado. Pitch misses, ball one. Activity in the bullpen, Diego Castillo. Up and loosening in the pen. Next one is off the plate, ball two. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And he deals. Line drive, base hit. He's got the record. Now the White Sox manager is out. New pitcher for the White Sox, Aaron Bummer. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. Swings and misses, and that's strike one. Soto, the home run derby champ from a year ago, a career batting average over 300. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Bummer deals. Swings and misses, it's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. 
Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Gonzalez beats the second out there on the ball. Two. Darvish back to work. And that's in for a strike. Gonzalez goes six feet, three inches, 205 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Got him swinging. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. India stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. And that will end the inning. Shy Sox. Top of inning number seven. Now the DH for the Padres. Matt Carpenter. The pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle. Low throw and he can't take it out. The effort was there with the jump throw. You gotta love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. And it's fouled away. And the lefty with the 0-1. And a swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. He's already homered here in this one. Kicks and deals. Left field way back there. It bangs off the wall. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. So digging in now for San Diego, Austin Nola. Austin Nola. Lined and that's a base hit. One run is in. Another comes in to score. It's 5 nothing. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. They say it went. Oh and one. Still only one out here in the inning. And that one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That's ripped. Base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. And that hit carries a little extra meaning, Boog. It keeps his hitting streak going. He is dialed in at the dish right now. I don't think there's a more confident hitter in all of baseball right now. Looks like he's expecting a knock every time he steps to the plate. Matthew Thompson gets handed the rock out of the pen. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relief. Fair ball! Benintendi to third, and now the runner will score from third on the wild throw. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder, so he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Runners on the corners with one gone. Here's Manny Machado now, one for three.
to second. There's one on to first. Double play. And that's the inning. Three runs. Back here on the south side. Now it's the DH. Aloy Jimenez. And there's the strike. Oh, one's the count. And it's quickly nothing and two on the designated hitter. Got it by him for the K. Wow, short work to send him back in to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Attack mode all the way and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Bounce to third. Fair ball. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he's out trying for two. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. Vaughn hitting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. You'll one. This one popped up right side. Cronenworth makes the catch, and that ends the... Back at guaranteed rate field. Here's Juan Soto. And a pitch. Dives and he can't hang on. Still able to get it there in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. And now the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Ripped on the ground a second. India over to first in time. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. In time to Vaughn. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. There's a strike. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. One down, and here's the catcher, Jax Groshans. Clips the corner, that's strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And that one is lifted in the air. And no one can get there, it falls in. Oh, he gloves it. Berger, around third. And he's in safely at third as a run scores. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And up next for Chicago, Eric Gonzalez. That's a strike. 0-1. Groshans takes his lead at third with one away. Strike two. Next offering is fouled back. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Andrew Benintendi steps to the plate for the White Sox at the belt and finals. That clips the corner. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to first. He takes it on his own. That ends the inning. And it Liam Hendricks out of the bullpen. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Grisham now at the plate as he swings through strike one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. Look out down there. Two 
That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Round second, digging for third. The relay in there safely. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. And now it's going to be Hassan Kim. This one in the air center field. Robert right there to make the grab. Runner tagging from third. He scores on the sack fly. And it's now a six-run lead. Here's the catcher, Austin Nola. Into left center for a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's there with a double. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I tell you what, it's not easy to do. Snags it on the run. And there's two away. Now the number two hitter, Jake Cronenworth. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And there's a foul ball. Into center. Robert moves under it. Makes the catch. And that'll do it. One. Here on the south side, now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. Going one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Kicks and fires. Lifted in the air, right center field. Cruz under it. Puts it away for the out. Eloy Jimenez now. And first offering is fouled off. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And a pitch. Line drive and foul ball. Andy Ochoo. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's... Ouch, that one got him. Well, a few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch. That grip, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Broken bat, and it's popped up. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres take the first two games of this series on the road. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from the south side of Chicago.